Sarge with Pugilism Company. Uh, we got a big fight coming up in Dallas in March. How do you see what, the, Which fight are you referring to? Uh, Earl Spence Jr. versus Mikey Garcia. How do you see that playing out? Look, Spence is correctly the favorite in my view because Spence is a young, athletic fighter who has skills, is very tough. You've seen him in fights already. We're like, oh, that's not exactly going his way. Kel Brook was doing some things, and he did not get discouraged, and he could punch. Again, it's a rare combination. The athletic fighter who can punch and has some skills and is tough and is willing to use those skills aggressively. A lot of times, fighters can hide behind if they're really, if they have a big athletic advantage, they can hide behind that and minimize risks to just, why not play it safe? When you see a guy who's like, no, nah, no, nah, I can punch, I'm fast, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this thing over with, he, he connects with the fans differently. Spence is the real deal. That's why the real fight everyone wants to see in and around that weight class is Crawford, who you know is the real deal, and Spence, right? Because Spence has a little natural size advantage to offset some of Crawford's skills advantage, really. Um, that's the fight everyone wants to see. In the meantime, again, because of the way boxing is structured, we get the fight that we didn't ask for, but the fight that we're getting and we're not mad at. Still a good fight. Mikey is a brave guy. He and, and a very confident guy. He believes in his in his skills. He fights dispassionately. It's not like with a sense of urgency or anything. He's like um, Emmanuel Stewart, the late great Emmanuel Stewart just talked about Felix Trinidad this way. Killer robot. He programs what he has to do and just executes the plan, and the other guy's flat on his back. Even at welterweight, where the power isn't the same, it's not like one-punch concussive power, you have to respect his power. He's not just clinical, he's clinical with some pop. <coughs> so it's not out of the question Mikey could beat Errol Spence. He is the more skillful fighter. He's not as fast. Um, he's not as big a puncher or as big, period. But he has had had more time as a pro to refine his skill. So he has real chances in that fight, and hats off for him to him for uh, making it. What is it that you think Mikey would have to do in order to pull out the uh, victory? Well, I think it was, it's important that Mikey, um, excuse me. I think it's important that Mikey, that Mikey can still pop at welterweight. I just mentioned, I know. He can still pop, but we've seen him punch enough to kind of get someone's respect. But at the top level, at 147, can he hit hard enough to actually break a guy down? Because Spence seems to me to be the kind of guy where if he's losing a fight, he's gonna step on the gas. He seems to have that kind of mentality. So at that point, it's not enough just to continue to box. You have to put something on him that can really break him down. And that's what this fight will boil down to. Can Mikey carry the power up to 47 a little better than we've seen? It's not that he hasn't done it all, but a little more resemble the fighter in the lighter weight classes that we've seen. If the answer is yes, he can win the fight.